Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam and this is the Crafty Blinder van build. Over the last few videos we've changed out the cam belt, water pump and a few other little bits and bobs. Today we're putting the whole van back together. Evening. So this is Tuesday night. Tuesday night. So we started this job Sunday. Um, stripped out all the front of the van on Sunday. Um, last night I fitted the cam belt. Um, we got to the point where we'd started it up and we'd put the front, um, we put the fan back on. So it's now time to start building up the front end again. So I'll just start show you where we're up to. So that is the front panel that we took out. Now, <clears throat> in my haste, I made a mistake. I started out st stripping from the front of this, the condenser, big mistake. I should have left the condenser on it and just took it all out as one unit attached to that. <laughs> but you live and you learn. I'd never taken one out before. So what we're going to do tonight is fit the condenser to this and we'll bolt it all back up. But before we do, we're going to give all this a clean off. Um, get rid of some of that gunk, give it a bit of a hoover out, improve the efficiency, bend these fins back where they've been knocked. Well, just, just tidy them up a little bit. All we do is run a, a Stanley blade up and down between them. But yeah, we'll get rid of all this gunk here. Um, splattered birds or whatever it is. We'll clean up the intercooler as well. Give it a good hoover. Um, a good wash off. And it'll stand as good stead. I've inspected it. Can't see any issues with it. Um, yeah, should last us another few years. That's everything cleaned up now. So we're going to fit the condenser to this and then we'll mount the whole unit onto this frame. So, dryer goes on this side. Just make sure everything lines up. I must have caught them when I was taking it out so right so this slots in on both sides For me, a lot of this is trial and error. I can't remember how it come apart and how it should go back together, but I'm just doing a bit of a trial run to make sure everything fits where it should, where I expect it to fit, I should say, and that we're not going to break anything or damage anything when we do assemble it.
and it's that simple. Everything just clicks into place. It just needs a little bit of force to snap it together. But once it's in, it's nice and secure. But taking that time to make sure everything lines up will save you a bit of heartache. You know, you don't want to do that and break something. So the whole unit slots into like a cradle. It then blocks into place there. And same on this side. There's like a round mount there. This is like a cradle. Cups it. And then locks in there as well. Okay, so that's us set up. Let me get this harness out there. It's another bloody job, that. So we're now set up to put all that back in to the front of there in one go. So that's a two man job, I think. Yeah, definitely a two man job. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Definitely going back to gather quicker than when I took it out. But once it gets to that stage and that's back in, I've got other jobs that I want to do then. So we'll bolt all that back in tomorrow. Just a short night tonight. Before we offer the condenser up, we've removed a blank that was on here. And we've also put the stat in. So in the kit comes this threaded rod and two seals so we'll just put the threaded rod in as far as it'll go that's that now these two bungs I'm going to leave in situ I've had them out what we'll do is when we get everything close we shall just <coughs> yeah. flick them out I'll put that back in in a minute so now we've taken the old seals off there get these out the bag first so two new ones a matter of popping them over the end there. Now can I do this one-handed? <laughs> I would say no is the answer <laughs> but I can with one hand and one finger. <laughs> hey. So that's that set up now. Right, I'm actually going to lift this in. I'll lift it in the position and we'll be set up for tomorrow. Wish us luck. Right, let's give it a whirl. I decided it wasn't a two man job and there was plenty of time to carry on. I thought it was later than it was. So I'd lift it onto the table, so I thought I could possibly lift it into position as well. It turns out it wasn't that hard, and I did manage it on my own. It just took a little bit of wiggling and manoeuvring around to get it into the right place. So I'm glad I did persevere with this, because I would have just left that job for the next day. And here's the apprentice. <laughs> and your job tonight is run under that van and put our hoses on. What kind of extra tea? Do you want a fish and chips? Lisa thinks she saw Jeremy Clarkson today. Ask, I think her, I did. ask her about it. I think I did. What makes you think it was Jeremy Clarkson? Well, it looked like him. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like him. It looked like him. Yeah. It's that windy today. The double of me. 
Then door. Jeff Pop Bob slides them rather than it's that windy. It's coming in the garage and it's unraveled it and it was taking it out the bloody door. I'm glad I've got back in time. Yep. Jeff Pop Bob. Did a charity walk for Veteran Society. So I met him and uh was having a bad day. I didn't realise I was having a bad day, but I got to meet him anyway on the beach at uh, Allenby. That's not. <laughs> and um, unbeknown to me, that was his lowest point. He was even considering jacking it in. Um, turned up with flasks and cakes and some pies from the local pie shop. And it was just what he needed. Everything he packed, the one thing he hadn't thought about was a little flask. So, <laughs> just shows you. And little things show people that you care mean they do mean the world he gave me this flag now he, he said oh, i'll have to buy you some beers and i was like i want nothing it was just nice to to help you out when you needed it in the end he gave me the flag that he carried all the way around and that means more to me than anything i'm very happy that i got that like i said i didn't want anything I was happy that he gave me it, that he thought of me enough to give me that. You should check out Jackpot Bob on his channel and his adventures. Um, and check out his story, it's, it's a real good story. He's a great fella. He's up in Scotland tonight. Jackpot Bob, if you're listening, hunker down, mate. The winds are coming and some snow and probably a few trees and cows and branches. Anyway, tonight. Day three, we're gonna bolt everything back up. So last night I put this in. Um, I put a couple of bolts in to secure it. After I turned the camera off, I went round and tightened them up. I also made the connection on the con on the condenser. So the aircon's all buttoned up now. So tonight we're gonna put all the pipes back on and we're gonna put the water back in. And once we've done that, we'll push, we'll reverse it out. We'll let it sit and we'll just monitor it, see if there's any leaks or anything like that. So a bit to go out tonight, but I'm hoping I can get it done in an hour. Well, I need my overalls because it's bloody freezing in here. Okay, so we connected up this pipe last night. Um, there's a little screw in there. Screw uh, a bolt, sorry, 10 mil, same as this one. That holds it all together so we didn't split this assembly kept it all together we just took that still had to show you. we just took that one out that's way down in the middle of there really hard to show you this but anyway we've got that one on tonight is all about putting pipes back on so we took a number of pipes off the top that we that we needed to Obviously the expansion chamber's down there still. We need to bring that back up, bolt that back up. Bolt the power steering back up. Um, some of these pipes here we just folded back out of the way so they're all to connect in. Um, this pipe here is to connect up. Yeah, it's quite a bit to do. So we'll start underneath first because all this top stuff's quite easy to get at. We can deal with all that, you know. Just a matter of doing all that. But we've got this pipe here to go on first. In fact, let's pull that out of the way. We shall put it on from above. Because this is this is an awkward pipe. This. No, I'm gonna have to go underneath and try and get manipulated up. Slightly awkward. Well, slightly, it's very bloody awkward. Let's put that pipe out of there.
on. The only thing is, the clip's all the way down the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll get the clip up, slide it up, get it to sit on the side of one of these, and then we'll uh, we'll come back up and fasten it up when we're doing these bikes. Let's just get underneath and get piped up. It's that windy. It's rocking the van. So, let's have a quick recap. We have put all the water pipes back on. We've put the intercooler hoses back on as well. And we have um, made all the electrical connections everywhere. Put the bonnet catch back in. Um, what else we've we done? We've routed all the cables to where they need to be. Next thing for me to do is I'm going to put the the AC fan on. Um, we don't need that for what a road to do, but we'll stick it on anyway, and then it's it's done. So we're going to top up the system with antifreeze and water. Then we'll let it sit and idle for a little while. Um, I'll probably put the airbox back in as well, but um, that's us just about done. So, all the vacuum pipes back on, the blue pipe works all back in. We've put the stat in at the bottom, we've made sure this is all connected back up the top stat. Yeah, so this is the moment of truth. Make sure that we've got no water leaks now. So what we'll do is we'll put the fan on, put the airbox on, and then we'll top up the water so we can fire it up. Okay, so that's taken a couple hours, but we've got everything back together. Looking a lot healthier now. So Storm Dudley's starting to whip up. So what I want to do tonight, sorry, what I want to do tonight is get the water, well the coolant back in. So. I don't nine litres. I don't expect it to take the full nine litres because we didn't drain the full system. We we just took out the radiator and left whatever was in in. So it won't be far off nine litres. But um, we'll make a start now, and once we've got it nigh on full, we'll fire it up and let it pull itself through. Okay. Even open the bloody thing. Cap broke. It's supposed to have a ring pull on it. I pulled it off. Drop that in there. Serve a bit of mess. Start filling up. Gurgling round. Put a little bit in, check. Put a little bit more in, another check. Been dropping so far. What we've got here? PM. Four liters. What we'll do is we'll let that four liters drain in. I've got to fill this up with water. Okay. So we're nearly at the full 
level. So what we'll do is just give that a couple more minutes and it drain down. Make sure there's no leaks. Nothing so far. I think what I'm going to do is go and fire it up and uh, let it pull, pull through. Get these overs off first. just need to keep the engine running for a little while um, let it get up to temperature uh, it's not started in a while so we'll we'll just let it run tick over keep an eye on things and as that temperature goes up we'll see how it affects our levels in the expansion tank we've got a few gurgles from this area they seem to have quietened down now, so I think the pump must have pulled um, pulled everything through the heater matrix. So a little bit further on. The water level's a little bit lower, so we'll top that up. Hopefully when things get warmed up, we'll, uh, we'll, see. we'll see how our pump gets on. So the heater matrix is quite high. Do you look at that? way above the level of the water tank and the expansion tank so I believe there's a pump up there somewhere or well, there's a pump somewhere for that water hat that's probably in there I would say that's a little water pump there Look at to see if there's anywhere to bleed the air on it, but it doesn't look to me, does it? Anyway, let's see how it warms up and we'll come back to it. Now well, the van's been running for a little while now and it's it's not warming up so we'll give it a we'll give it a few revs just to try and uh, get things moving in the right direction. So the water's circulating freely now. We've had it running at this for a few minutes. Um, we've had the fans on. We know that things are, are working properly there. They've been good heat. Put it back on. gurgling noises when we turn it on. I think that's it bled up. It's important to keep an eye on the level in the expansion tank and keep topping it up as it's needed. the maximum level um, and let it run for a little while make sure that we've uh, got no bubbles or air pockets I 
Well, it's the next day now. We've let everything settle overnight. We got the engine up to temperature last night. It pulled it all through and it's settled. It just needs topping off now. So we'll add the final bit of water and that should do it. What I do for the first couple of days is I keep an eye on the water levels, make sure nothing's changing. Make sure we've got no leaks as well. So that's that. Happy days. It did take a little bit of time to get it up into the heater matrix, but um, not nothing too bad. Job done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed them last few videos. Um, I've learnt a lot. Um, definitely, last few days, I've learnt a hell of a lot about my engine and about my van, how things go together. And that's what this whole video, this whole van build has always been. Um, for me to gain knowledge, to know how to fix my van if things go wrong. Um, I hope to travel extensively in this van. And I need to know how it works, how it goes together, how to strip parts out. Because usually when you break down, it's at the most inconvenient time and place. So having that knowledge should help me in the future. But, um, it's all back together now, engine wise that is, <laughs> still a couple of little jobs left to do, we've got some spotlights to put on, I've got a, a bump, a bull bar, nudge bar, we'll call it an air bar on the front of the van, I'm going to mount some spotlights on that, I'm going to put some fog lights on it as well because it's missing some fog lights on the front, um, and living out where I do, you know, you need as much light as possible, so thanks for watching and until next time. See you again. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.